Hello everyone, my name is Philip from It's Foss, and today we are taking a look at Kubuntu 18.04, codenamed Bionic Beaver. Kubuntu 18.04 is the latest long-term support release from the Kubuntu team, and is supported for three years, unlike Ubuntu proper, which is supported for five. As you can see here, it ships with Plasma version 5.12 LTS, the Qt version 5.9 LTS, and the Linux kernel version 4.15. It comes with Mesa version 18 drivers out of the box, but the latest NVIDIA drivers are available to download either in the driver manager or in the Moon package manager, which comes installed by default. Speaking of defaults, this is the biggest area in which Kubuntu has changed for this release. What you are seeing now is the default setup after installation. Right off the bat, you will see that this version of Kubuntu has a quote, updated theme compared to previous Plasma 5 releases. Though really the only thing different about this theme is that it comes set with the Breeze Dark desktop theme mixed with the Breeze Light application theme, which is one of the first things I change when I install Plasma on one of my machines anyway. The theme is not the only default that the team decided to change in this release. In Dolphin, now files and folders are opened with a double click instead of a single click. You can use the keyboard shortcut Control H to see your hidden files as well as the previous Alt period way of doing it. And the bouncing icon that appears next to your cursor when opening an application is replaced with the static icon. All of these tweaks are things that could have been achieved in previous versions of Kubuntu given the vast customization options of Plasma. But this is the first time that the Kubuntu team have made these tweaks default all in the name of better user experience. You will also see that Firefox is the default web browser, VLC is now the default media player, and Cantata is the default music player since Amarok hasn't been updated in forever. We also have the full suite of LibreOffice as well as many other useful utilities installed by default. But that's only the case in the normal install. Like Ubuntu proper, Kubuntu 18.04 offers a minimal option during the installation process. That version only comes with a few tools and Firefox installed, and saves you around 600 megs of space in the end. As far as installing other applications is concerned, you can do so through the Discover Software Center as you would expect, but like I said earlier, Kubuntu 18.04 comes with a Moon Package Manager installed as well. So if that is more to your taste, then by all means. One of the easiest ways to install applications in this release is by simply opening KRunner either by typing while the desktop is in focus or by using the keyboard shortcut alt space and typing in the name of the application you would like to install. Clicking enter will throw you into the Discover Software Center where you can now install the application you were searching for. Another way to install your favorite applications is via SnapD, which comes installed by default. You can even search for the snap of your choice in the Discover Software Center itself by simply installing the package that allows you to do so. Just search plasma-discover-snap-backend in Moon, install the package, and now you will be able to search for your favorite snaps in the Discover Software Center. The same process works for flat packs if you would rather use those instead of snaps. You can see here that I have installed the Spotify Snap to test out this process, and all works just as expected. Almost. The installation and setup process was flawless, but like every other distribution that I have installed the Spotify Snap on, the application does not retain the cursor theming when you move in and out of the application. This is not the case for all snaps, but it is true for the Spotify Snap on every distro I've ever tried it on. Like most Linux distributions, Kubuntu comes with Xorg by default, though you can still add Wayland if you choose by following the same process you did to install the Snap backend. Simply search plasma-workspace-wayland and install the package to get the latest Wayland support, though I would not recommend it, and neither does the Kubuntu team. Another cool feature in this release is the native Google integration support. This is a great feature for Linux newcomers who use Google Drive as they will have one less speed bump to deal with during the transition into the FOSS world. This release also ships with the new Vaults feature installed. Vaults gives you the ability to set up individually encrypted folders in KDE that require a password to open so you can keep your private information away from prying eyes. 
You can even isolate any vault to individual activities if you so choose. The only problem I have run into with vaults is that it is difficult to delete a vault once you have it set up. It requires that you delete all of the vault config files throughout your file system to do so. So make sure you are certain that you are creating the vault where you want it and what you want it to be named before you set it up. Otherwise, it can be sort of a hassle to change. One of my favorite changes in Kubuntu 18.04 are the global menu enhancements. Now, when you set up the global menu in the panel, the system auto-detects that you are using the global menu plasmoid without the need to change the option in your settings to make it work. Another feature that I am surprised took this long to come to Kubuntu is the ability to browse previous notifications. In past releases, once a notification popped up and went away in Plasma, it was gone forever. But now the user has the option to scroll through their old notifications and can even copy and paste information from these notifications. I have been using Plasma 5.12 on KDE Neon on my System76 Galago Pro laptop for several months now with little to no problems. I have been using this release of Kubuntu 18.04 on my desktop PC since the day of release, and though I can't say my Kubuntu experience has been as seamless as KDE Neon, I'm still very satisfied with what the KDE team has been doing with Plasma over the last couple of months. It has been getting better and better with each release, and Kubuntu 18.04 is no exception. If you are looking for an incredibly customizable, clean, fast, and efficient desktop, then give Kubuntu 18.04 a try, and I promise you won't be disappointed.